Hello everyone, this is Fred at GetMeCoding.com and we're going to continue our tutorial series on getting coding with Scratch. So in this one, this is kind of like a standalone recording. You could go back to the other tutorials, you could work your way to this point, or you could actually just jump right in and have a lot of fun making noise or sounds, right? So we have Scratch the Cat here on our stage. Now, we're going to create an event that when we click on Scratch, when this sprite is clicked, Scratch is a sprite, right? Drag that out. And now we're going to get go ahead and play a sound. I click on the sound option here, and now I see a play a sound. Drag that out. In here, you can see there's a little drop down. Right now, it only says meow and also record. Yeah, you could actually record your own sounds or your own voice telling a story or saying something or making a noise, as long as, of course, you have a microphone attached to your computer. So we have meow in here. I'm going to let that be. I'm going to snap it in. I'm going to run my animation. Now, all of a sudden, nothing happens. But if I click on Sprite, he meows like the cat. Very cool. So I said it could be a meow. But how do you change the sound? What if you want him to be something else? So I'm going to click on sounds as a tab. When I do that, it sees that I already I, I did select the sound of a cat. This is known as a wave file. Sound is actually represented graphically as a waveform. That's something for maybe some of you in a science class, but watch what happens when I play the sound. You'll notice that it starts the playhead and it moves across the sound file, the sound wave. We have a play, a stop, a record, and we also have edit and some effects. So one of the things I could do with an effect, I could actually reverse it. So I click reverse and click play. <coughs> Nothing happened. That's because you have to actually make a selection of the wave that you're looking to reverse. So take your mouse, left click and drag. And you'll notice that you highlight the waveform. I highlight the whole waveform. I go to effects, reverse. Now I could try it. Makes a totally different noise. Kind of weird, actually. I'm going to reverse it back. Okay, so that's a cat noise. What if I want to add another no another sound? Inside of Scratch, once again, you have a library. You could upload your own sounds, and you could even record your own sounds. That's really cool. So I'm going to open up the library. And let's, there's a whole bunch. You could spend all day long in here driving your friends crazy, but let's take a look here. Instead of maybe, hmm, the cat meowing, I wonder if there is anything in here, click on animals, that would be a dog barking. I like dog too. Now, what I have to do is I have to click on the actual sound icon and then click OK. And now I have two sounds in there. Once I have that added in, I can see how the sound wave looks. I can go back to my scripts tab. And then where it says play sound, instead of meow, I click it now and I have actually dog too. Let's run our animation. So now Scratch the cat has become Scratch the dog. <laughs> 